Hello, welcome back. So this is part six of how do I manage my online business with AppSheets. So thanks for watching through the last one. I believe it's a really long series. And the last one is just something very straightforward. So we really talk about dashboarding and we're just going to talk through some final touches such as branding, logo, a uh, little bit of you know color changes and adding of more items, how to deploy and what are the future for your app. So let's go back to our sales app. So in this case, uh, let's go to info and spec. So in this case is how your uh, app should look like. It should come from two main table where the sales, uh, let's go to Proc2. So Proc2 should go into new order and it go to map and view and Mock2 should also go into the view, which is our view total uh, sales log. And the sales status, of course, should go into uh, the pending delivery, the six different uh, uh, five, actually five over here, five different tiles slicing, and then it go to individual views, while the six actually will be here, new order. Yeah, so as well as the map over here. So for the other two tables, it's not displayed on uh, the infographics over here because it is not uh, part of the input and output process, but it just used to calculate one of the feature columns. So you won't see them in this output. So in this dashboard, of course, you can see the logo, name and description. So in this case, you can just edit logo, you can choose within one of the preset, or you can just go into one of the image that you already upload to Google Drive. Uh, there are different colors that you can choose and you can see the preview over here. And if you want a light surface because you're not using a mobile phone, that's one way you can do as well. Some of the launch image and some of the slight changes of it. So you can also hide menu and search uh, buttons if you just want people to focus on what they're working on. So this is particularly useful when you're using something like a company device that only launched one app and you don't want them to, to, to go around and do something funny about it. Uh, but I will choose it on because I also use it some other app on my app sheets that I develop. Okay, so you can also show logo so it's nicer. You can hide this so you can also show this one. So uh, it's just up to some small customization and so on. So now we go to a little bit on the future plan. So in this case, you can also change the font color. You can change icon formatting. You can change the font color of different table. You can go into all the starting view. What is the thing that you want to see when you want to op when you open up the the app? Of course, you can also go with individual. There's a lot of customization over here as well as all the, the localization and stuff. So the thing that I have not even talked about it is actually called the behavior. So action and workflow reports and offline things here are one of the more advanced action that you can include in your app. So actions are when you click a certain button, you will execute a certain action. So in this case, it might be I want to send an email to the customer for the confirmation. So the email actually you can just go for here. So new action can be a lot of things. Like these are the part that you can do something like uh, open a file, go to a website, open a form and indeed the role. And you can actually use the import from one table to write to another table. Um, you can actually just go to another app sheet and, and then extract data here and there. There's a lot of things you can do. So as well as workflow. So it's also how you can, uh, yeah, when this happen, if it's true, do things. And let's say when quantity or price is uh, there's any changes of it, uh, you can actually send an uh, email. Yeah. So when, when there's a new order came in, let's say, so yeah, uh, update event. So any changes to the shipping cost date. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, I'm not going to do it on camera. Oh, yeah. But basically if an uh, order came in that you can actually, let's say, uh, update the other thing, or you can just send out an email. So this is an action that you can do. Yeah, so there's, there's a lot of things you can do. The other thing is report. So if you want to consistently or systematically at a certain time send an email of the data, you can also do here. So at this time, let's say monthly, I want to send uh, overall this table and you can actually do an email or notification or web book, save file, uh, all this thing. You can also save as a CSV in your Google, Sh Google Drive, if I'm not wrong. And these are part of the small little things that you can customize as well with your with your app and so on. So of course, security, not an issue, it's just uh, who you want to sign in to. So in this case, of course, I would prefer to have a sign in so that you can actually lock the user data down the road if you need to. But if you only work with like uh, two to five people that trust each other, you can use the same account or you can lock in a separate account. You will not change the fundamental way of how it works. And 
you can just manage user and just only add them in and that only particular user is able to access the data. So it will allow the data, of course, to be safe and secure and not able, it will not leak the data out into your customers. I believe Google so far has a really good track record of that security system. They have not been hacked, apparently. Well, Google Plus, except. But apparently Google has one of the most secure platform outside them. It's not really been hacked much. So you can also do all this. Uh, intelligence is like, there's some exist, there's a predictive model and OCR. Not gonna talk too much about it. This, this is a little bit more complicated than it is. So lastly is how do you deploy? Is that you go to not deploy button and you can run a deployment check. And if everything is correct, you can just switch to deploy and it will actually just go forward with it. Because there are a few things like app description, you need to change a little bit and maybe account status where you need to actually pay yeah, uh, I'm using a free plan, so I do not have uh, an account access, so I need to actually pay for it. And you, if you are a business, I would strongly suggest you to pay for it, so we can have premium features of it, such as scanning, uh, photographics, and a, a lot of other features that's not inside a free account. And what else I need to talk about? Uh, branding done, color done, logo done, and the future of that. So lastly is just how do you want to introduce this to your employee if you're a small company i think you should be in a good relationship they should not oppose to it but i believe that uh, if you're trying actually to help them to improve their workflow and help them to do something they always wanted to do such as you know easily get an interface that they can, they can just focus on one thing rather than having people fly around i believe deployment into a company is not really an issue it's just that how do you want to Make sure that you're not trying to, you know, outdate them and then try to fire them after this. I think deployment should not be a problem. So, of course, lastly, is the human issue that you want to consider. Certain people just don't like to lock down their everyday tasks and every uh, time where they do a certain things. And that will be out of my pay grade, out of my job scope, and out of my uh, specialty on how to help you with your management. So, with, with this, I'm going to wrap up the the whole series basically we have start to app sheet with a google form that will be sent to the customer the customer fill up the form and that will able to go into a google sheet where you have properly structured them so that they can go into app sheet again and the app sheet you have the data table as well as the slices that pipe in into a ux which is a user interface and it goes into different views so that different people can do different different thing at the same time and it can very easily communicate to each other so with that, I would like to thank you for watching this series and we'll see you in the next series of video or something else. Or if you're interested, you can watch our news that we publish every week. For now, see you in the next one. Bye.